I sign up people and they don't do anything. Is that you? <laughs> right? Have you ever said that? Or have you had people in your organization say that? I sign up people and they don't do anything. Well, what's happening is that you are expecting your associates to become superstars, but instead they don't do anything. Now, I hope that doesn't happen in your organization, but I'm guessing it does because that is very common. It's really common. You know, you bring somebody into the business and they don't do anything and you're expecting them to do something, but they don't do anything. And it's like, okay, well, what do we do about that? Well, guys, let me tell you this. The top income earners in our profession look at their new associates completely differently. It's like, well, what do you mean by that? People who struggle, people who struggle in this business, they sign up a new person and then they wait, right? They bring somebody in the business and then they wait and they wait for that person to go out there and become like uber successful. See, top income earners view their new associates as a doorway to other people, not as a destination. And guys, that is the main difference here. A lot of people who struggle in this business, they think that their job is done when they bring a new associate in. They're like, yes, I brought Lisa into the business. Yep, she's going to be a superstar. And then they wait for Lisa to become a superstar. They think Lisa coming into the, to the business is the destination. And, you know, really successful people, they look at Lisa as the doorway, not the destination. In other words, they're not expecting their new distributors, their new associates to do amazing things. They're not putting all their hopes and dreams into that one person. Now, you certainly hope that your new associate, you know, does amazing things and it would be great if they did, but you can't leave it to chance. You can't leave it to chance. That's not the destination. Guys, what really successful people do is they view that new person that they just brought into the business as a doorway. They look at it as a doorway to other prospects. Okay, just bringing somebody into the business is not the destination. Look at that person as a doorway. Okay, now here's what I mean by that. Let's say, for example, that I sign you up. Okay, I personally enroll you into the business. Well, guys, my job is obviously to motivate you, but mostly I want you to introduce me to your world. You are a doorway for me to connect to your prospects. And, and listen, <laughs> I can actually be more effective with your friends because I'm the third party, okay? You guys know that that's true? I mean, we all have really close personal friends that you know you guys are gonna do things for each other, but you've got friends that kind of look at you and go, what, what do you know about making money? What do you know about neurotechnology? What do you know about starting your own business? But all of a sudden you bring a third party in I can be more effective with those people than you can because you're too close to them. I come in as a third party and validate everything that you're saying and that gives you even more credibility. So here's what I'm going to do. I bring you into the business and I'm going to ask you, who can you introduce me to today? Who can we go set up a meeting with today? Who can we go talk to today? Hey, let's go make a list and let's figure out you know, who we can go talk to like today. A lot of people say this, you guys. They get really, really frustrated because they're like, oh, I don't have anybody to talk to. I, I've run out of prospects. Well, if you're frustrated it's it, because you've run out of prospects, all you have to do is sponsor one person into the business. Just, just bring one person into the business and all of a sudden you've got hundreds of prospects to talk to, okay? Because that person is a doorway to their world and they're going to introduce you to a few and all of a sudden, those people become a doorway. And they introduce you to a few. And those people become doorways who become doorways who become doorways. Guys, your job is to treat that, that new associate as a doorway. And what you do is you keep digging and opening up new doorways. Okay, What top people do is they keep digging further down in their line until they find that, that, that rock star, that superstar. Okay, you know The person who's going to take this thing and go run with it. You know, that is the, that's the, the top income earners kind of secret to success. They keep digging and digging and digging and digging and digging until they find that superstar. Now, most top earners, 
don't personally enroll a, a, a superstar. Because I look back at my career, and when I when I first got involved in this thing, I was in my first in my first company. Now this is obviously back in August of 1990 is when I got started in this thing. I was there for 14 and a half years. You know, we we became the number 12 income earners of all time with the company, and we didn't have we didn't personally enroll anybody that was in the top 100. We didn't we didn't have like a, a superstar that just went out in there and just killed this thing. But they went out and found, you know, the people that we brought into the business, we dug through those lines and we found superstars four, five, six, seven levels away from us. And that those are the people that I that I gravitated gravitated towards, and those are the people that I worked with. Okay. What you're looking for is a rock star leg. Why? And you're gonna or how? You're gonna go find that when you go through doorway after doorway after doorway until you reach the destination. Guys, top income earners, you know, they find those superstar legs, okay? You find a superstar in a leg and they anchor that leg and then you can go out and try to build a new leg. But guys, it might not be your personally enrolled associate. You have to work through them and then work through those people, then work through those people, then work through those people until you find somebody in that leg that becomes you know, the, the rock star. And, that, and then all of a sudden you sit back and go, okay, that leg is set. That, that leg is now anchored with this person. So don't just bring somebody in the business and hope that they become the superstar. You hope that they open up their world to you and they introduce you to people that you can go get this technology on and they go introduce you to a few people and then you want those people to introduce you to a few people and so on and so on and so on. And guys, I just it's not uncommon, you know, for you to work 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 20 levels deep in your organization. And some of you are like, "Steve, I don't have 20 people in my organization." I I, said, I know, but just wait. Just wait. When your organization starts to take off to a point where you can't even control it anymore, yeah, you'll be, you'll be 15, 20, 30 levels deep. And you might find a superstar on your 22nd level, and that's the, that's the person that you go gravitate towards. All right, And you work with that person, and you just know that that, that, that particular leg is taken care of. Okay, Now, your new associate, once again, is not the destination. It is the doorway. Thank you.